Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to add syntax highlighting to Next.js with Prism.js. So recently I had to add syntax highlighting to my blog here and it was kind of tricky so that's why I'm creating this video. Uh, so there's several approaches that I found to do this. Uh, one is to do it on the client side with Prism.js and then uh, the other way is to do it during build time with Rehype and Prism.js. So in a different video, I'll show you how to do it at build time. So here, uh, the first step is to initialize an Next.js project, and then you'll install Prism.js. And then you'll create a component called Prism Loader, or whatever you want to call it. And then make sure you import the theme, as well as any languages that you need. Uh, I think JavaScript is default. Uh, and you know some you'll have to import like TypeScript um, so yeah feel free to import a different theme or additional languages here and then in the use effect we'll call prism.highlightall and then you just have to use this prism loader in any page that needs syntax highlighting so any uh, page with a pre element and a code element like this with uh, the class name of language dash uh, JS or whatever language you want uh, will be highlighted. All right, so here's a quick demo. So you can see that this is highlighted in JavaScript and this is TypeScript. Uh, now, the catch is that if you load the page, there's kind of a flicker where there's no syntax highlighting because this is all happening client side. Um, so that is kind of the downside to doing this way. So in the other video, I'll show you how to do it at build time. Um, so yeah, just a quick uh, tour of the code. So I have the Next.js, Prism.js uh, repo here. And you can see that I have my component here and then also the page where I'm importing that component. And also uh, I have a link to the repo here so that you can see the uh, completed code example. All right, thanks for watching.